offense. We've been doing all season and actually my whole career. Uh, just my times were a lot faster than what they had been this whole season. I felt stronger and I felt a lot faster. So um, it feels like everything's coming into place at the right time. Every part of my race, I mean, my starting to get a little faster. Uh, my reaction time, uh, my first 200 maybe a little quicker. Uh, worked the turn a little harder and had a stronger kick. Of course, the world record is another one I want to break. And uh, just trying to uh, regain my title from world championships this year is the main focus for me and then the Olympics next year. So, I mean, that's enough motivation for me right there. There you have it, plenty of confidence for uh, Jeremy Warner and one of the men who'll be trying to depose him here, that fella, Angelo Taylor. For well, seven years, Angelo Taylor's been through since he won the Olympic Court of Real Earth's title in Sydney. But Warren up, chosen it up. And they've included the US Championships where he finished fourth. But let's look through the lineup now, shall we? Starting in late season, former world champion Ahad Moncur of the Bahamas. Ed Tyler Christopher, the bronze medalist two years ago in Helsinki. Looks rather mean, doesn't he? There is Angelo Taylor. Really in glorious form, taking himself to ninth on the all time list in the 400 metres. A world top 10 dominated entirely by Americans. The Sean Merritt, the World Cup winner last year in Athens. We've seen that on Eurosport. He's in good form as well, just outside 44 seconds. He's the 10th fastest man of all time. But here, equal third on that all time list by virtue of that run in Stockholm just three weeks or so ago. 43.50 we ran there. Jeremy Warner. Leslie DeJoe has a habit of getting it right on the big night. He had a European to reach the Olympic final three years ago. Chris Brown, the Pan American champion, crowned in Rio de Janeiro a couple of weeks ago. He's a very fast starter. And Jan Wittsman, originally a 200 metre specialist, picked up a silver medal last year at the European Championships. But there is Jeremy Warner. The whisper of world record has been going around the stadium over the course of the last few hours. Will it happen? Who knows? The mark, 43.18. That's Michael Johnson's set on these championships eight years ago in Seville. The wind readings actually suggest the wind is actually going to help the athletes here because earlier in the triple jump, running in the same direction as the athletes will be on the back straight, they were getting positive readings, and then we had a very positive reading for Alison Felix's win in the 200. So that rather suggesting that this wind is swirling and swirling in the right direction. So from the inside, Moncur, Christopher, Taylor, Merritt, Warner, Lejeune, Brown, and this one, the men's 400 meter final. So who is the first to break? And Warner is getting after the journey, and also Chris Brown, the fast starter from the Bahamas. He's having a good run out there in lane eight. And also on the inside of Warner, the Sean Merritt trying to catch uh, the world champion and the Olympic champion. Angelo Taylor's also going pretty well. But at the moment, having a good run, Chris Brown of the Bahamas, but this is where Warner is so strong that Merritt is hanging on to him incredibly well. But Warner will kick up, kick up the home straight. And here goes Warner, who's being chased by Merritt, Taylor slipping back. But now it's Warner against the clock. Keep your eye on it. One, two, three, forty-three point four six. A lifetime best. He's not four one hundred of his best. He's now the third fastest man of all time, all on his own. He's taken the world title, defending it in style, and he's closing in bit by bit on the world record of his manager and mentor, Michael Johnson. It hasn't happened tonight, but you have to think at some point in the future, it will. 43.45 has even been rounded down. Well, you can see how windy it is. We'll never know if the wind was in his, in his favour or not. The time suggests to me that it wasn't. 43.45. Final well, top bet for the Sean Merritt. 43.96. The first time he's come under 44.